a weem away, 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 a weem did you say Thanos shits the bed? Favreau. Favreau. Yes. Yeah, I don't he, know didn't, if he, 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 didn't, he didn't shit the bed. But, <laughs> I mean, you're, you're asking a lot for me to fucking... I didn't know you were going to make up lyrics. I figured you'd just sing the song. In the, well, yeah, you know, I figured you'd just go with the jingle, but... I love that song, by the way. Oh, it's like one of the best parts of the movie. It's it, like the yeah. three-second part. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so um, I am back from vacation and we are doing an episode on The Lion King. 2019. 2019. I'm home at the movies. And I'm Jackson. And this is Bored and Annoyed Reviews. Bored and Annoyed. Uh, Yeah, so this one has been kind of critically shit on. Uh, it seems like audiences like it, though. Yeah. I kind of see why. It makes sense to me, it's I a, guess. It's a crowd pleaser. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing glaringly awful yeah, about it, it, I guess. Uh, audience reaction was like 83%, 85 something like that. Okay. So people generally like it. Critics are definitely not on board, and I can, I, I see both. Yeah, me too. This is, it's pretty much, I know you're going to say this is, I'm assuming you thought this was way better than Aladdin, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, yeah. but as far as Rotten Tomatoes is concerned, it's like right there, Yeah. right? It's kind yes. of the same same deal where yep. Disney now has two in a row, mm-hmm. perhaps three in a row. Dumbo, I think, might have been more disliked by general audiences. Yeah, that's that's a good point. We're it's three in a row. I mean, Aladdin just made a billion, and Lion King is guaranteed to make a billion. But I, I would find it hard to believe that people think these are great, though. Mm-hmm. Any of these three movies. Yeah. I mean, there might be some people out there, but generally they're not hitting home runs. Yeah, with these. it's it's true. It's true. It's it's really interesting. I mean, I remember people can go back and listen to our initial reactions, but we thought the trailer looked amazing. Yes. Cast is amazing. Director's amazing. And then you kind of walk out and you're just kind of like, it's pretty ho-hum. It's fine. It's It's very, it's very pretty to look at. Yeah, and I hate like copying the sentiment that's been out there for so long, but it right. really does feel like you're watching like a demo reel, like a special effects demo. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, I don't know how else to describe it. I mean, there are a couple off shots here and there, but for the most part, they look like real animals. Yes, it's in- it's incredible. Even when they're doing some like semi goofy shit, yes. which I feel like. The fact that they looked so real kind of hindered the movie because you couldn't have them do some of the shit that you would. It highlights the silliness of the things, but not in a good, like, cartoony right. way. Like, in a way where you're like, well, that's not real. Well, I almost felt like they had to, like, rewrite Rafiki completely because yes. in the cartoon, he's like a kung fu looking, like. Oh, God, I loved Rafiki in the well, cartoon. Well, that's just it. You walk out of the movie and you're like, oh, that was good. And yeah. then you think about it and you're like, there is not a single character or thing in this. Maybe Timon and Pumbaa. Maybe. That are improved. I is liked that what- them. Um, well, that are even close okay. to what yeah, they Timon were. Yeah, and Pumba were the closest to being on par. Right. Yeah. But I still don't think they, I don't I don't think that they made it as good. They're not as no. good. They're no. close. You're right. I mean, The yeah, guy no. who is Timon, really, oh, he killed it. He's the angry uh, gay yes. guy from Parks and Rec. Yes. And yeah. he was the best part of the movie. He I was. I would say. I, I would agree. I would agree. He he delivered his lines and they had some new lines in there. Yes. That he came up with. I love the bit, the rendition where they start doing the uh, Be Our Guest. Oh, yes. That was interesting. That was, uh, did not expect that. That was a nice unexpected <laughs> it laugh. It was pretty good. Yeah. Um, but it really is a beat for beat, almost exactly shot for shot remake. Yes. With some shots. I it's weird that it's longer because I feel like like be prepared is like not a song anymore. It's like yeah. a twenty five second little they discussion. Added, they added in some new things like you, like it start. There's a mouse shot that goes for like a minute. Okay, yeah, you know that's they, total tech demo shot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that was amazing. It did look great. It's yeah. fucking nuts. You're like, wow, they really trained that fucking mouse. Right. But uh, yeah, it's not real, it, Alex. It, no, it's it's not. It's, it's not crazy. real. They didn't yeah. have to train a mouse, I, Alex. Did, thanks. You know, Thank you. I mean, did you think that this was all <laughs> really <laughs> I mean, live action? No. 
<laughs> it was a it was a joke. It was oh, a joke. Oh, 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 okay. Uh, okay, I got it. Yeah. I got it. Um <laughs> Yeah, performances. Who uh who um who bothered you the most? Uh well I'm a Scar fan. Right. So I don't want to blame the performance on Chickawell at or mm-hmm. whatever his name is. Chewy Twell at Geo4. Okay, thank yeah. you. You Always nailed the, the last one. name. Yeah, I thought yeah, it was all right. I yeah. think I'd get like a B minus on yeah. that saying. But uh I don't want to blame him. I just feel like the character was too different. Like in the original Lion King, I think of Scar as like you understand how Simba likes him as his uncle. He's kind of mm. he's a tricky, he's like a trickster kind of character. He's got a little bit yeah. more charisma to him. Whereas yeah. this Scar is just scary. He's just he is mean. just kind of scary and <laughs> right. mean the whole time. Um he still is pretty much the same like the motivations are the same yeah. oh absolutely and there are certain things that are nice there was a little addition at the end where he says to i think it's sarabi which is uh simba's mom right he's like uh if you accept me the rest of the pride will accept me and you rejected me years ago it's like oh that's kind of a interesting, interesting little lore wrinkle. thing wrinkle sure. yeah um well it doesn't and, add a ton but well, and and his song missing is terrible too because that was such an awesome moment for that character in yes. the original movie you had like the whole and, and this is one where you watch it and you're like okay i get why it's not in there because in the original you had like the Steam. hyenas doing like the nazi, nazi march right. and like yeah yeah. All, yeah and it was amazing it and was, you can't do that when no. you're trying to make it look realistic you yeah know? yep you're 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 not wrong and i did i did uh i got the impression in the original and i don't necessarily like this change and this is impossible you just can't separate the two you just can't no no that's they didn't try they um, didn't try to make right. you separate them um so i i got the impression in the original that he was friends with the hyenas long before he sent simba and nala into the elephant graveyard yeah like and yeah, in this sure and in this it was the first meeting of them was when he goes in and he's like i sent these people to you and they didn't they came back alive you're right they did seem to have a relationship i do however think that the hyenas were okay in this oh yeah yeah, yeah. like they were okay a lot of the side characters ended up being better than the main performances yeah and we can get into that when we're kind of going through the movie but yeah there's a certain point where all of a sudden uh the adults don't want to be there yeah it feels like almost uh, well, I mean, let's just go. What What's your final grade? I'll give it a B minus. OK. Uh, yeah, I I think your initial I, I don't remember if it, it was, was a B. B. Was it a B? Yeah. But the yeah. longer I think about this, yeah. the less I like it. It's yeah. just not. It really does feel like it has no purpose to exist outside of like, oh, look what we can do. And I don't feel like it needed to be that way. You could have mm-hmm. done this. And maybe you don't have to have the animals be 100% realistic. Maybe I think that do. goes a long way in right. making the movie better. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, 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 your initial grade I saw was a B. And I was like, okay, we'll see. And I started higher. And right. then as the movie went on, it started going lower and lower to the point where I'm like, yeah, it's a B minus C plus kind of movie. Right. It, it's not terrible. No, it's like, fine. I would recommend seeing it, I guess. It didn't make me mad. No. Um, no, but that's just it, though. That's We had that topic. Yeah. And it's like, it's so true. It's like, yeah, it doesn't make you mad, but... You're just kind of bored. I almost wish they risked making you mad. Yes. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah. Well, there are changes, and I think a lot of the changes are for the detriment, but they aren't as glaring as the changes that are made in Aladdin, sure. I feel. Um I'd say one of the things, okay, just going into, you know, the rest of the review, I feel like James Earl Jones maybe shouldn't have been Mufasa. I know that's a bit of a stance to take. You but think he's getting a little too old he and tired? He sounded like a grandpa. He, dude, remember how he sounded in Rogue One? Yes. Oh. Yeah. And and it's like, I, I like him as a performer, but also it was one of those things where, you know, like they record separately in the booths for right. these. And uh, I could tell there are certain lines like he says to zazu something along the lines of like i have to speak to my son and it's like it didn't sound like he was responding to zazu at all right it was just a one-off line well a lot of the lines why didn't they just like pull them from the old movie right god well and there's a particular line that is missing from uh when he's he's ghost mufasa sure that i really hate that it's missing he goes like, you are more than what you have become. And it's just so great because he just fucking hits Simba with that guilt. 
Because it's like, yeah, fuck you. He, he, I hated in this how he was like, I've always loved you. My greatest thing about being king was having you as a son. And it's like. Is that really true? First well, of all? one, that's 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 number one. <laughs> number two is is he doesn't need the whole pat you on the back, lovey dovey talk. He needed a stern talking yeah, to because he true. fucked he was, around for years. He's being a prick. Yeah. yeah, and that's why the whole you you are more than what you've become means something, right? And uh, I didn't like the change to Rafiki either. No, Rafiki was weird in this. Uh, I remembered him as kind of a funny character who was like, ooh, you know. Yeah. And now he's just like old, wise, but he's not wise because he never, he doesn't like seem wise, really. He yeah. just shows up I and mean, he walks seemed, and. He definitely seemed wise in the original. He's certainly not banging people on the head with his stick. And God, I like, love that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, he, no, you're right. He seems wise in the original, but he's like Yoda wise. Yes. He's like goofy. He's like, yes. yeah. They definitely pulled inspiration from Yoda, I feel. Yeah, I, it's probably true. And there's a point where he pulls out the staff in this and he says, my old friend. And you're like, we've literally never seen this stick in this whole movie. Why is this here? Because and it's, it's only in the original. Because movie, it's in the original. Which you've pointed out has plagued these where it's like they're throwing in references when it doesn't really fit in the context of the current movie you are watching. Yes. I right. Yeah, it doesn't. At that moment, you're like, if this is the first viewing for a child, it just doesn't work. Right. Um, for me, I'm sitting there and I'm like, well, you already kind of ruined Rafiki for me. So, I mean, he's fine. But he's nowhere near as engaging as the original. No, because um, there's there's another. I mean, I know the 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 original Lion King pretty well, and there's a there's that bit where Simba's chasing him, and he's all he's like, "I'm crazy. You don't even know who you are." And he's yeah, like, right. "Whatever." And he's like, "I know who I am." And he's like, "You don't know who I am." And he's all, "You're Mufasa's boy." And in this, they change the line to be like, "I hailed the son of Mufasa," and it's like. That's such a clumsy it's line. Poor, yeah, it's a way less entertaining version of the character yes. in general, in yeah. my opinion. And I loved the Bruce Lee thing at the end where he's doing the Bruce Lee impression. I just lots of little sparks from the original missing. Yeah, well, it's too bad, huh? What about uh, what about uh, Simba and Nala? Uh, well, are we talking? Are we just getting into spoil? I mean, there's no spoilers, there's no spoilers right? here. Yeah. Uh, I thought adult Simba and adult Nala both sucked they were, overall. They I were sleepy. They, they yeah. were sleepy. The kid versions at least seemed to care. Yes. You know, um, like that sounded fun. I'm sorry, but Beyonce was just God awful. Yeah. I'm, hot take. Beyonce is not all that and no. a bag of chips. No, she is. Maybe she's the queen of pop, but she certainly isn't the queen of acting in movies. She's, Although I never saw that one with Eddie Murphy, like the. The um oh god what was the name of that like now I want to say Showgirls but it's not oh, Showgirls oh right like obviously. Dream Girls yeah or Dream something? Girls I yeah. never saw that um but and, and it worked in the Austin Powers movie because it's an Austin Powers movie so who cares like I, st I still kind of hate Foxy Cleopatra she sounded like Foxy Cleopatra reading Lion King lines she though. she over she's an over actor right um and I would say also she has an, a new original song for this. Sticks out like a sore thumb. Dude, I don't remember it. I, I couldn't tell you where it was in the movie. It's when I, they're running back from uh from from the the Timon and Pumba area. I, nope. Yeah. No, it's, it's I mean, honestly, it's, like it's, that's it's how useless it was. It's completely forgettable. You can't even tell what she's saying because a lot of it she's like, <laughs> that's another thing too. These goddamn <laughs> songs in these movies that are like, oh, in the original, they just Hit the note because that's what you do in the song. It has a note. You hit it. In these, they're like, oh, we got to change it up a little bit. So I got to go. Oh, yeah, you're probably and right. Like, they you know, probably do change it up a little bit. And, and you know what I hate? I hate about that is the fact that if you aren't hitting that note, you're not hitting it with the emotion. And so she's just showing off her vocal range by going. Can you feel the love tonight? It's like, fuck you. Just fucking sing the song. 
Yeah, I mean, I don't disagree. Yeah, and a lot of that stuff. The songs, I think, are the parts of the movie where you're sitting there going, ooh, this doesn't really work. It's almost like they should have not mm. made this a musical. They should have done something completely D- different, different with this. They should have made it maybe like PG-13 or, mm. you know, I, like, because I'm sitting there during the songs. I'm like, yeah, I don't know about this. Like, they don't, there's no emoting like, right. by any of the characters. There's yeah. no it doesn't look right. It doesn't, yep. you know, I, maybe I'm, maybe I'm off base, but that's no, how I felt. I feel like the best musical number was the, uh, uh, in the jungle. Yeah. It, it was hundred percent. The best musical number. It, it was, it was, it was longer than the original. And I know the reason was to build up the, the, attack. it was t- the was attack. Like a surprise yeah, yeah. attack. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I loved that. I loved and you had the animals like hopping. Yeah, that was great. It was it that was, was the best thirty seconds of the movie. I think so. I think it was. Yeah, I mean, I liked. I I've always liked lions fighting. So the end when it's too sure. like yep. realistic, like that's pretty great. That's pretty neat. And it makes you realize the absolute genius of the original when it's like it's so operatic with the whole like fighting on a cliffside yep. with a lightning bolt that starts a fire. Two warring factions. Like, it's fucking, it's a right. great story. I would agree. But it's kind of, it's a little, it's hollow. It is. I know. And I know that's what everybody's been saying. So we just sound like parrots. But, right. it, the, the, you know, the longer you sit with it, the more you realize, like, you were kind of fooled. Yes. Having a good time there. But, you know, I, it, it deserves the credit it gets for how good it looks, though. I'm going to call this, I'm going to call it this. Disney is weaponized nostalgia. Yeah, that's all they're doing now, apparently. Well, besides Marvel and, you know, that what? all those properties, but Right. But these Disney properties, like when's the last, what's the last new thing? I guess they have their animation. They have their animation. Like Moana, Moana or whatever. Yeah. Big Hero 6. Yeah, I that, guess. That's really interesting that that's where they've chosen. Like we're not going to do like original live action movies. We're going to do live action cartoons. Or live action. We're we'll do, do the re- cartoons and then, yeah, we're just going to, if we're doing live action, it's all remakes. Right. Anything original is going to be a cartoon. So right? then the question, yeah. So then the question is, is the live action version of Big Hero 6 going to take place in the MCU in 20 <laughs> I years? I don't know. Well, you know, this does bring, get me a little bit, and I haven't seen Mulan. I'm going to watch Mulan. Right. But it gets me a little excited that like, okay, well, maybe Maybe this is the right way to go. Maybe we're going to see them do something right. interesting You're where right. they're not, they're not, you know, stuck with, right. oh, here's all the shit you've already seen, except for it's more boring and not as exciting. I, I tell you what you can do, or at least something that I would probably do is, is you make the original songs into the score for the movie. Sure. So, so you, you, do do, you take out the lyrics and you just have the melodies going on throughout that scene. Just do that. They or don't you, have to sing. Like the montage scenes, you could even have them sing. Yeah. You know what I mean? But it doesn't have to be the, it does, it's does not a musical. Right. right. Well, and Hans Zimmer's original score, when it comes in, when, you know, like they're looking at the sky or whatever, yeah. it's fucking. Hans is just the best. It's, it's so good. Hans like, is great. And, and that's the thing is like the movie actually tricks you into thinking it's better than it actually is. But yeah, I don't know. I don't really have too much more to say. It's just Beyonce too bad is a that waste. it's not amazing. I wish it was like my favorite movie of the year. Yeah. You know, although Do I guess you think I it'll be in your top movie. five. No, <laughs> not top five. No, it's not in my current top 10. Yeah, no. I agree. No. God, yeah, this has been a really weird year. Yeah, it has been. But, but yeah, I mean, that's all I got on The Lion King. Yeah. You're right on Mulan, though. I, you're right. Yeah, at least it's not going to be the same shit, even though this is a one that I, if I could see it fresh, I could see it fresh because I've never seen Mulan. But. I think you're going to like it. Now that I think about it, the I think you're going to like it. Or the new one? The new one. I'm starting to think you're going to like that one, not as much as uh, Jungle Book, but I bet it'll be like your second or what third if it's favorite. Just a, what if it's just the second season of Kingdom? It looks like Kingdom. Oh, that'd be awesome. <laughs> we tricked you. It's, it's like, rated You hard. look at the trailer and you're like, holy shit, did they just use the same set as Kingdom? Right. God, I love that show. Yeah, I'm okay, pumped. Okay. I hope it comes back. It but... better come back. All right. Yeah. All right. Anyways, what would bored and annoyed be without a diatribe? Yeah, that's right. It'd be really boring. It, Probably yeah. less annoying, though. Mm. That's true. More but thanks boring, for listening, guys. <laughs> uh thanks for listening uh let us know what you guys thought of lion king did you guys go see it uh do you have any sort of uh maybe stance that you're taking to not go see it oh 
stances huh? yeah. i uh, stances yes i like a good stance every now and then <laughs> anyways uh thanks for listening guys check us out at bored and instagram twitter you guys know where to drop us a line thanks